The man credited with ruining the financial futures of millennials worldwide passed away on Christmas Day at age 54. He wasn't a banker, a politician, or even a boomer. His name is Bill Granger, the renowned Australian chef credited with bringing the world avocado toast. His simple yet delicious invention rose to a top food trend in the last decade. Granger's iteration, priced at around 12 American bucks, became the poster child of frivolous spending by folks born between 1981 and 1996. So you think that young people have now got the prospect of never owning a home? Absolutely, when you're spending $40 a day on smashed avocado and coffees and not working, I, of course. The meme took on a life of its own in 2017, thanks to another Aussie luxury property developer, Tim Gurner. Since Gurner's infamous interview, social media millennials have poked fun at the tasty toast that's been keeping them down. You can't buy a house because you keep on buying avocado toast. Stop buying it and then you can have a house. Hi, I'd like to apply to buy a house, please. Have you ever bought avocado toast? I mean, um, yeah, sometimes when we go to brunch. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead and lose my number. As you might imagine, millennial struggles are a bit more complicated than Gurner's analysis. How much did you guys buy your house for again? Oh, you mean our four bedroom on the waterfront? That must have been what, like 80 grand back in the 90s? Those extra shifts at the grocery store really paid off though. Hmm, so the median sales price for homes in the US went from 78 grand in 1984 to 431 grand last year. That's just over a 450% increase. But Simone, wages have gone up too. Yeah, by about 260%. Ugh, I need to feel something. Harry, can you tell me something that'll piss me off? Boba Fett's better than Mondo. Yep, that'll do it. Do the math all you want, but the data won't stop folks like Dave Ramsey from dunking on younger generations. There's an avocado ban on avocados coming in from Mexico. So it's wait, a healthy fat, Dave. The, um, it's a healthy I know, fat. but the I'm just saying millennial uh, avocado toast is um, toast. Meanwhile, 1.7 trillion in student loan debt is also holding back millennials from home ownership, according to a 2019 report by the Federal Reserve. The central bank found you can realistically blame more than 20% of the overall drop in young adult home ownership on rising student debt. But the Fed said the central cause for a decline in millennial home ownership is really tighter lending standards that followed the 2008 housing crash. And that is still happening today. To add insult to tighter lending, rising interest rates over the last two years have pushed mortgage rates from around 3% to as high as 8%. And then there's getting together the all too important down payment. By making his own avocado toast at home, this young male is saving up money for a down payment. Just 4,892 to go. For his part, Bill Granger never bought into the idea that his creation was the reason millennials can't afford a house. He told the Sydney Morning Herald in 2020, as my father said, it's always been impossible to buy a house, always.